Thank you for coming to this segment of the videos. Uh, this segment of the video is very important. It covers the sensation to the foot. Uh, this is somewhere where I have found candidates often uh, forget um, uh, the sensory supply to the foot. And therefore, I made a special segment for this. Um, we're going to go through the nerves as we've discussed them from saphenous to tibial to peroneal and then finally introduce a new nerve that supplies the sensation to the foot, which is a sural nerve. So if we go to our model over here and have a look at his foot, we can start off by the saphenous nerve. As we know, the femoral nerve uh, goes into Hunter's canal and becomes the saphenous nerve, which is then a purely sensory nerve. The saphenous nerve supplies the um, red shaded area over here and uh, is a purely sensory must, uh, supply. It doesn't go distal to the, media, uh, to the medium alveolus and it just supplies this medial aspect here. After the saphenous nerve, we then discuss the tibial nerve. As we discussed, the tibial nerve originates from the popliteal fossa and comes down medially and posterior to the medium alveolus. The tibial nerve then divides into the medial and the lateral plantar nerves. The, these nerves supply the sensation to the sole of the foot, which is depicted in blue over here, and they also supply the intrinsic muscles of the foot too. After the tibial nerve, we then discuss the common peroneal nerve. As we discussed, the common peroneal came from the lateral aspect of the leg. It divided into the deep and superficial peroneal nerves. The deep peroneal nerve went into the anterior compartment and it goes lateral to the first metatarsal with the dorsalis pedis artery and supplies sensation to the first dorsal web space as depicted in black over here. Going back up, we also have a branch called the superficial peroneal nerve that goes laterally in the lateral compartment and then gives off branches anteriorly. And as we discussed in previous videos, this is a nerve that gives a supply to most of the sensation in the dorsum of the foot. And this is depicted in green over here. So if we summarize so far, we have the saphenous nerve medially. We have the deep peroneal nerve in the first dorsal web space. And we have the superficial peroneal nerve supplying most of the dorsum of the foot. After having gone through the main nerves, the last nerve that we're going to go through is the sural nerve. So for this, if my volunteer can stand up. And if you could uh, just uh, face the window. So if you look back over here, uh, this is the tibial and the peroneal nerve coming off on the sciatic nerve. There's a branch that comes off from each, the peroneal and the tibial, that join together and form the sural nerve. The sural nerve then descends in the leg all the way inferiorly and goes lateral to the Achilles tendon. This is a nerve that should be sought out for when repairing uh, Achilles tendons. The sural nerve then uh, branches out and divides the black shaded area over here. And this is the lateral aspect of the foot. It doesn't go all the way up to the fifth toe, though. That's applied by the superficial peroneal nerve. It just applies the lateral border of the foot. So if we summarize everything at the end, so if you could come back on the stool again, please. So we have the saphenous nerve supplying the red shaded area, the medium alveolus. We have the deep peroneal nerve supplying the first dorsal web space, the superficial peroneal nerve, which supplies the dorsum to the foot, and we have the um, sural nerve, which supplies the lateral border of the foot, and finally the tibial nerve, which supplies the sole of the foot. Thank you very much for listening to this. Um, uh, I will have a diagram posted on my website, uh, which you can download and familiarize yourself with and this will help you learn the sensory supply to the foot. Um, we're going to show you another video of putting it all together and that should hopefully uh, end the lower limb examination. Thank you very much.